All right. All the posts are put up here. As you can see, six feet, five feet, five feet, six feet. This is going to be the front. Look at this angle. The roof is going to pitch this way. So you're going to. This is the way something like that. And that's how the roof's going to go on. So you want the rainwater, obviously, to stay away from the front of it. But you can make the roof any, any way you really want. You don't have to do a pitch on it if you don't want to. It's just the one I decided to do. Um, so, yeah, all the posts are in. i got some supporting wood um, here to give it some strength. And, you know, it's good to have two hands, though. Or at least have some wood clamps when you do this because, you know, once you start making your pilot holes and stuff, things are going to move. And, you know, it's good to have two hands or a clamp. But, yeah, just make sure everything's level, of course. And you want to get everything exact or it's as close as you can because, you know, once you put that roof on, you don't want any issues later down the road here. So here's, I'm trying to move back so I can give you a, a wider view. And make sure, if you're going to go at, at this this way of doing it, um, you don't want this, uh, the bottom boards where you're going to be laying the wood, you don't really want that touching the ground. So I have an inch and three quarter uh, lift um, from the ground to the, the bottom base. Um, but you don't have to do it either. I, like I said, I, I said you have to. You don't have to. But you really don't want that bottom base to hit, touch the ground. You know, it's going to get wet. It's going to, you know, it's going to make the wood just wear out quicker. Unless you want to buy pressure treated wood. You know, I mean, and that's not even, a, you know, it's just, this, the price of this wood this wood rack would almost, well, it would probably double if you were to use pressure treated wood. Now, you can do that. You might want to do that, you know, but you don't really have to. Uh, as long as you take a couple of precautions, you know, because you can stain this, you know, polyurethane it, whatever you want to do with it, but I'm not even going to do that, to be honest with you. I might do a quick coat of, of something. I, I don't know. We'll see when it's done, but, um, yeah, so... Here are the posts, you know, like I said, it's six by two, six and six feet, two inches by two feet, two inches. You know, it's pretty much a six by two, but you know, once you add the boards to it and everything, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will give you an update in the next video. All right, catch you on the next one. Any comments or questions, just let me know. All right, this is part four, I believe. Could be part five, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to edit it. But uh, this is pretty much uh, the finished product without me putting the roof up, which uh, that'll be the final video. But um, yeah, and two by fours set up here. Six feet high here, five feet high here. Then this is the pitch that I got. So I don't know what I'm going to put on top. I was going to do cedar, but I'm having trouble finding it. Nobody seems to have it, and it's been a big pain, but, um, so this is what I got right now. It's just one by three. This was pretty much a dollar fifty. Um, it's eight foot long, one by three. Yeah, just picking acorns. This one's kind of flat, and this one, and I found that, like, almost, like, same time. This off. She loves to help. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go one more high here now that I look at it. And go all the way around the back. i got to put one more post right here. So you should have, if you're interested in doing this one. This is a 2x4 by, by the way. In the back you want to do a 2x4. In the front do a 2x6. Um, 
dirty. I like this dirty. one a lot. But yeah, see, right in the center here. I'm going to try to move back a little bit. Yeah, right in the center here, you want to put one more 2x4. We got the big piece of wood, but no light. Yeah, so, like I said, this doesn't have to be too strong. I'm probably going to put some kind of stain or polyurethane to protect it. I wasn't going to, but, I don't know. I'm just, oh, no. what's the big deal? A couple Wee. bucks. And this is pretty strong, but I could see this getting weathered pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So I'd like this to... It's kind of crooked because I was trying to help that, and then it, like, came off a little bit, so that one, that one's not... That's perfectly level. Go get the level. We'll show them. What level? Right there, that yellow thing. Yeah, so oh, there'll be one more video um, on this fire rack if you guys like it. It's real easy to make. This yellow thing? Yes, this one. Uh, this can hold almost half a cord. Actually, it could hold half if you, I mean, you gotta fill this thing to the brim. But it's a six by two and a half. Six and a half by two and a half. Um, you know, six feet tall here. But you're probably only gonna fill it to, you know, probably five feet. If you have to. I mean, I'm going to fill it nowhere near that. This is just for my little fire pit here that we use. I always, my motto was go big or go home, right? I could have built something a little tiny, but... We got the There's no fun in that. So, let's just see if this is level here. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's see. No, it's still on level, but... I don't think the ground's level here, Liz, right? That's going to be our excuse? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be our excuse. But it's still in the middle. Middle enough. But, all right, so you'll see the final video and coming up. I'm going to try to do this in two videos because I don't want it to be too long. But there'll be a part one and a part two. But here it is from a long big ways. Boy. We got a big boy in here. You know, and you can make this as long or as short as you want. Like I said, if you want to make it 8 feet long instead of 6, you can. If you want to make it 12. If you want to make a full cord, you know, make it 15 feet, 12 or 15 feet long, you can do it. But I'm trying to be not talk too loud here because i got neighbors outside. But Alright, so that's pretty much it. Any? Oh, there'll be another video. But Alright, hold on then. Hold on. All right, this is pretty much the finished product here. Um, yeah, this is it, man. It's all done. Um, I got these cheap boards. They're called strips. So they're pine strips. I'm going to seal coat these with some, uh, you know, Thompson's water seal. I'm going to do everything except the roof, of course. The roof's uh, pressure treated. Um, pressure treated one by six pine. Um, the top here, I decided to go this route only because I wanted a bigger pitch on it. So it comes out a little bit more. I could have stopped it right here, but decided not to do that. But real simple firewood rack um, it's not hard to do at all um, yeah that's pretty much it the ground's a little uneven here so I gotta find a spot for it um, that's about it any questions I put some uh, some support I had some extra pieces I'll probably maybe put a couple more up over here to support this piece and to support that piece right there but it's a beautiful day here I just want to get this Thompson's water seal on here just for these boards here and over to plywood and stuff you know I probably don't need to do it but it was eleven dollars down from fifty at Home Depot they were giving this stuff away so I'm gonna have the kids uh, paint this puppy up but this is it. This is the finished product. Um, any uh, questions or uh, comments, uh, feel free. You know, this is something I just put together. It's 
gonna do me just perfect for what I'm only using it for this it's overkill don't get me wrong I have nowhere near my, enough of wood that I would ever fill this thing up with that's why I only went that high with the boards you can go all the way up if you want it's cheap enough to do these are $1.97 for a nine foot piece so I mean you could spend 40 50 bucks and do the whole thing totally up to you I only went this high um, like I said it's pretty much just wood for my fire uh, my fire pit there but that's it man hope you enjoyed it any questions on what I did here just let me know all right oh yeah and this top piece here I don't know if you guys are gonna comment on that I only got that on these two posts but it's strong enough it's good enough for what it has to do um, yeah, I didn't want to go all the way up here with one. I thought it would look a little weird. Actually, I'm going to put a 2x4 across here. i got one more thing to do. Right along here. Cover that up. But, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little stream of videos I put together. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one.